It was 1971. Uh, I was right out of high school. Um, I started working on the starting gate. My father was a veterinarian on the backside here and uh, kind of got me started in the industry. My job right now is uh, taking care of the racing surface and making sure that it's um, safe, consistent, and ready to use every day, virtually. The, the optimum goal is to get the racetrack consistent. Um, through the measurements, um, you want it level, smooth. Um, material always slides down, so it's a job of keeping the material up uh, where it should be, and then uh, the job of keeping it, um, the depth consistent all the way around from inside to outside. Every step counts when you're running that fast and the racing surface has just got to uh, accommodate them. But a lot of the racetracks are going to synthetic surfaces, which they're, they're not as, it's a new industry as far as the synthetic surfaces go. A lot of the bigger tracks are working with synthetic surfaces. Uh, we started with sand because we ran in the winter time and there was so much rain. Um, the sand re reacts so much better to the rain than the dirt. Um, Emerald Downs is sand, that's just to the north of us in Seattle area. Um, they run strictly in the summertime so they have a few more additives that they add. They add fibers for traction and, and uh, organics and clay for moisture content, retention. And uh, we ran mostly in the wintertime so we didn't need all that. Well, we wanted to keep it as clean as possible because um, every day in the rain it just reacts so much better when it's clean. And what we use is clean mason sand. Um, uh, mason sand has to be really clean and, and the particles have to be uniform or you can't lay brick you know with big chunks in it or, or uh, too many organics which wouldn't let the cement set up so it's got to be really clean so that's what we uh, put on. I get here in the morning <clears throat> early while they're still training uh, there's either water to be put on or not and then uh, two tractors go out and groom the surface it's halfway through the training hours uh, some days I have to put water on some days I don't um, that just is more intuition and feel than anything uh, after the track closes and we have to uh, clean up all the training uh, hoof prints and all the, you know anything that's out there we take care of that it's just all these things I got to think about to uh, try to keep the racetrack as best I can for the races each each day. <laughs>